Now, if you saw the original, you're probably wondering why I'm re-uploading this. Is it because I got about four views? Yes. And two other reasons. First of all, the original had really shit narration and scripting since I had no clue what I was doing at the time. Now, as you can hopefully hear, I've gone much better at using the tools available to me, alongside getting some new tools. Secondly, the original suffered massive quality losses during upload, which I intend to avoid here. Now for what this video is actually about. If you can't tell by the title and thumbnail, this is a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance walkthrough. Specifically, it's a walkthrough done on a new game set to a vengeance difficulty. Throughout the walkthrough, I'll be giving advice and tutorials for a wide variety of skill levels. So whether you haven't figured out how to parry yet, or you're trying to do a Stormbringer run, there's something here for you. In addition, I'll be gathering all collectibles in this game. This means all Deus storage units, all left hands, all MIBs, and all hidden endurance upgrades. I'll be completing as many challenges as I can, including all rescues, all VR missions, and nearly all optional fights. Another important thing to mention is that I'm using the Skip Creds and Startup Logos mod to well, Skip Creds and Startup Logos. It also allowed me to input the Konami code on a keyboard by pressing F11. Go download it, it's a great QOL mod. Now let's get into this. MGR has five main difficulty settings. Easy, Normal and Hard are the main three, while Very Hard and Revengeance must be unlocked by being the game on the lower difficulty or by using the Konami code. The three main options do about what you'd expect, like modified damage and enemy aggression. There are some more specific things, but I'll bring those up over the course of the walkthrough. Very Hard and Revengeance is where things get much more difficult. We get a new enemy layout, enemies can attack at the same time, and many attack animations are faster. Revengeance is the same as very hard except for damage values. Enemies deal massive damage to the player. On the plus side, it also massively buffs the parry counter, more on those later. with a quick warm-up, shall we? Check the Soliton radar on the upper right and head to the point marked on the display. You can jump over obstacles, but the ninja run will get you across them more quickly and easily. You can also attack while in motion with the ninja run, you know. Swinging your blade while dashing, for example, or striking your foes with a sliding attack. While dash attacks are the first attack you learn, they deal really crap damage, so don't rely on them. Side attacks, meanwhile, are actually pretty decent, and they give a speed boost in iframes. While I'm here, I should mention that VR missions have their own predetermined difficulty options. Tutorials are always on easy mode. Now then, let's run a basic battle diagnostic. Try and neutralize all the enemies that appear. 
Spamming blade mode is a common mistake I see. Don't do that, use the move set. I'll explain more in the blade mode tutorial in the next episode. In terms of your move set, you have light attacks and heavy attacks. They work about as you'd expect. You get more damage if you're willing to commit to the longer animation of heavy attacks. There's a way to do heavy attacks with pretty much no commitment. I'll explain that later. Combat is not all offense, however. You also need to protect yourself. First, follow the direction of the enemy's attack. Parry those attacks by executing light attacks of your own in the same direction. This is how you parry. It is the keystone of your defense. That's a terrible, almost actively misleading explanation of parrying, so here's how it actually works. To parry, move in the direction of the enemy relative to the camera and hit the light attack button at the same time when the enemy is launching an attack because parrying is contextual. On MKB, this means tap a direction key and click at the same time. On controller, this means flick the stick, not press in like the diagram suggests, flick, and press the light attack button at the same time. On easy assist mode, direction input is automatic, you just do light attacks. As a rule of thumb, each input will only block one attack, so it'll have to parry for every single attack. If you do this close to when the attack is about to connect, how tight this timing is exactly varies by difficulty, you will launch a parry counter. I'll explain more of the details in the blade mode tutorial, but right now just know that it deals high damage and has high stun power. This effect is massively amplified on revenge and difficulty, so while I'll try not to rely on it too much, some things I do in this walkthrough will only work on revenges. Draw foes in as close as possible and parry their blows to leave them exposed to counter-attack. From your perspective, it will appear as if the enemy is frozen in time or at least moving very slowly. This is the perfect opportunity for you to carefully aim your strike, then slice your foe apart. Keep in mind, even you will not be able to parry every type of attack. Watch your foe's movements carefully. Without further ado, let's begin the game proper. Three years. We've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No, the will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm, a soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister.
What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Just three standard cyborgs, nothing to worry about. The Gecko's only here on Very Hard and Revenge, and so I'll explain how to fight them at the part where they normally show up. Right, you'll need to choose between light and heavy strikes to match the situation. Take self repair units from your foes to replenish your own supply. in action. Raiden, the limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP. I'll add the limo to your solid down radar. Just cut the gate, there's no point firing here.
Jack. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. Africa's just getting a bit too peaceful. What? Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. A clean break from the war economy. Huh. Well, some of us lack that economy. How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? This is your answer? <laughs> Don't do it! Don't worry now. I won't. Not while he's still useful. <sighs> so long. As a tutorial boss, Rave's main purpose is to emphasize parrying, ninja run, and blade mode. The attacks are in this boss, so it's pretty easy to be even on this mode. Catch that pistol before it falls! Use your ninja run to deflect those shots! You can parry bullets, but it's still better to ninja run 99% of the time. Successfully blocking most of Ray's melee attacks will give a blade mode prompt. I'll explain more later, for now just cut as you please and you'll get big damage. They swapped out the hydraulic cutter for a plasma cannon.
lousy leg. press this button when it shows up. I'll explain later. Welcome to MGR, by the way. Do not rest easy just yet, huh? I'll explain more about the combat ranking at the chapter summary screen. For now, just know that being certain fights quickly and without dying or taking damage gives you more points. For this one, being the fight in under 3 minutes or with no damage always gives an S rank. He's on the other side of that collapsed building. Go! Use your ninja van to move over obstacles automatically. The chase is bait anyway, so we can ignore and grab the first data storage module. You can unlock weapons with these. <sighs> Do not let him out of your sight. You must catch him. <sighs> isn't done just yet, you need to kill it for real this time. Same story as before, but with less wiggle room. As you just saw, you can skip the laser by dealing enough damage to get a blade mode prompt. If you don't manage that, there are a couple of ways to avoid the laser. The easy way is to walk towards it and jump as it approaches. The stylish way is to iframe it with a slide. The screen means press ninja run and cool shit happens, like this.
minutes as before, be under 3 minutes or with no damage for an S rank. Because we already know what happens to Admani and don't really care, we can just grab the stair storage unit here. The placements only get worse, by the way. Prime Minister! Ha! Too little too late, hero. I won't be needing my little seal here any longer. What about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose? Uh. Raiden, forget me. Stop him. <laughs> You ain't listening. Mind if I got in? All we're saying... Give war a chance! No! It's unwinnable, you get a fate to black if you manage to survive long enough. Hmm. Self-taught. And not half bad. Still. <laughs> Your technique lacks something. <laughs> Thank you. 
yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. Quick rundown of rankings and BP. BP, battle points, is the currency used to buy weapons and upgrades. You get BP in a variety of ways, but mainly by getting good combat ranks. For fights that end with a ranking screen, which is most of them, you're awarded BP for speed, combo length, zandatsus, BP gained in fight, and kills. With large bonuses for things like no organic kills or no damage taken. The total BP awarded from each fight determines the ranking given, ranging from D to S. Chapter rankings are then determined by the mean of ranked fight outcomes rounded down. High chapter ranks award BP in a sense of pride and accomplishment. Also for being the prologue on very hard or avenging to get the suit. No stats bonuses, but come on, it's a suit, it's perfect. That's the video. Come back in another 8 months when I release the first part of the RO1 walkthrough.